Nothing here looks out of the ordinary. Maybe your summon spirit would be able to tell. Our summon spirit? I believe she means me. Yes, you doggy. I'm talking about you. I am neither a doggy nor a summon spirit. I am Centurion Tenebrae. You may call me Tenebrae. All right, Tenebi. So, do you notice anything strange? No, not especially. And my name isn't Tenebi. Colette doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it isn't related to the stone dais after all. Ah! What was that? A monster? But it disappeared. Emil, above you! Yeah. Was that? Was that the summon spirit of when the mayor was talking about? But the summon spirit we found here was a fake. And besides, we defeated it. Either way, it seems like that creature is responsible for these gusts. We've got to do something. But our attacks just bounced off of it. Let's look for a winged dragon. Huh? The winged dragon is the natural enemy of the Garuda, the bird monster we just encountered. The Garuda is protected by a special membrane, a barrier of sorts. The only thing that can pierce it is the claw of a winged dragon. I might know where we can find one. I met a man in Haima who teams dragons. I can take us there. Haima is where adventurers go, right? Is it safe? Don't worry, they're all good people. Excuse me, chosen one? Please, call me Colette. Colette, thank you. You saved us from that flying creature on the stone dais. Oh, no, I just tripped. <laughs> You're really strange, Colette. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go to Haima. Okay. Girls are strange.
I ask you something? Of course. Uh, what is it? Just be honest. How do you feel? Uh, about Emil. Well, let's see. He's very kind, very warm-hearted. Do you like him? Sure. Oh, well, I'm not giving up. I won't lose. Not to you, not to anybody. Uh, oh, uh, right. Um, good luck, I guess. Monsters. It wasn't like this the last time I came here. I wonder what happened to everyone in town. Maybe it's because of the world regeneration. We have to do something. Let's just look for that dragon tamer for now. Say, doggy. I believe I said my name was Tenebrae. Oh, uh, you don't like me calling you that? No, it's just that my name is... I've got it! I'll call you Mr. Doggy. How does Mr. Doggy sound? I am Tenebrae. Oh, in that case, I'll have to settle for Tenebi. That's it. My reputation as a Centurion is done for. Wow, there's so many monsters here. It's creepy. Is this also because of the Centurion's core? No, I doubt that is the only cause. Like the situation at Lewin, unless a core is nearby, monsters should not attack a human settlement in great numbers. Then what could it be? It's faint, but I sense the aura of the demonic realm. Maybe this area is connected to demons in some way. Demons? Before Lord Ratatosk descended to this world, it was joined to Nivelheim, the demonic realm. Eventually, a door was created, and the path between the worlds was sealed. But some traces of demons still remain in this world. Yes, I think I've seen some evidence of that. Then should we try and do something about it? No. The demons in this realm will probably be subdued to some degree once Lord Ratatosk awakens. We should concentrate on what we came here to do. <sighs> That's a relief. I was afraid you were going to say we had to wipe out the demons ourselves. Dragons was right around here last time. Whoa, this place is crawling with monsters too. I wonder what happened to the dragon tamer. I hope he's okay. I think we need to worry about ourselves right now. Here he comes!
there aren't any dragons left here. Maybe they flew away. Or maybe they got eaten by all these monsters. I can hear it. Hear what? A dragon. Flying. I don't hear anything. Look! A winged dragon! She's thanking us for avenging him. Avenging who? Are you saying that the dragon tamer is dead? No, apparently the tamer was able to get away safely. It seems that she's thanking us for avenging the death of her father who was eaten by those monsters we just fought. Poor thing. She says that she would like to repay us. Even a young winged dragon would be effective against the Garuda. How should we proceed? I'm not comfortable asking her to fight in battle, but if she's okay with it... She's agreed to help us. Great! Thank you, little one! Alright, let's go back to Asgard. This place gives me the creeps. The baby dragon is so adorable! Her eyes are so big and round! I wonder if you were even cuter when you were young, doggy. I am not a puppy. However, I may not look it now, but during my childhood, the monsters in my neighborhood often discussed my level of cuteness. As a button, I believe, was the consensus. See? I knew it! Do centurions even have childhoods? Or do monsters have neighborhoods, for that matter? Forgive me. I was just jealous of the baby dragon getting all the attention. Before we go to the stone dais, I have a proposal. Oh? Well, what is it, doggy? I am a centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Oh, right. I'm sorry, Tenebi. Our winged friend is still too young and weak to deliver much damage if we attack the Garuda head on. Then what should we do? We could use a decoy to lure out the Garuda and distract it, then have the dragon strike it from behind. A decoy? Who's gonna do that? I'm not really up to... I'll, I'll do, do it. it! Colette, you're too clumsy. I'll do it. I I'm not clumsy, and I'm pretty tough. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. Enough! I'll do it! I can't let a girl be a decoy and hide. Emil, that may not be a good idea. I really don't want to, but there's no other choice. You do that for me? Thank you! You really are my prince! I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. How come they don't fight when I volunteer? Alright then. Emil, please get on the stone dais to draw out the Garuda. Make sure to give us some sort of signal when we should make our move. Okay, let's go to the stone dais. Signal!
the winged dragon! Go, my minion. Strike! The Garuda's barrier has disappeared. Now's your chance. Redemption that guides us to daybreak. Listen to my voice. Holy prayers will be spoken for all eternity. No let be Swallow! Light of redemption that guides us to daybreak. Listen to my voice. Holy prayers will be spoken for all eternity. Now let there be light! I'm mad now! First aid! rather strange. The Garuda is not aggressive by nature. I thought it would flee once its protective membrane was damaged. Wait! Something's coming! Ah! 
What happened? I thought we defeated it. One moment. The young dragon is saying something. She feels like the stone dais is calling to her. What does that mean? It appears something inside the stone dais is drawing monsters to it. Perhaps the reason I can't perceive it myself is because it's targeting monsters of elements other than my own. Inside the stone dais? But it just looks like a normal platform to me. Aisha's brother knows a lot about the stone dais. Let's ask him about it. Good idea. Let's go. Those two have really hit it off, huh? It seems that amidst all the frenzy, Lady Marta has completely forgotten her animosity. A rather fortunate development. Yeah, definitely. What happened in Palma Costa was terrible, but Colette herself is a good person.